Don Burge is back with Miss Laverne Ferbert. Hi, and uh, hi, Laverne. Um, do you feel uh, vindicated after the uh, meeting and the announcement today about what yes, you guys? Yes, I'm project? very happy that the ministers, um, Colonel Burch and Jamal Simmons, listened to us, and that Chelly Bay will be taken off the list of the five beaches for the BTA vision. When you first started this protest, what was your vision on, on trying to, to protect Shelly Bay? I just felt that, um, you know, Shelly Bay is too small to have any commercialization and, um, you know, that it needed to stay as it is. And so I did what, you know, was necessary and got people together and started a petition and, um, you know, got over 1,500 signatures. So. I, I came by earlier today and I saw people so signing up on the sign that yeah, you have. Yeah, people are still signing. <laughs> people are still signing the petition. So. Now, do you feel like it was an acceptable compromise with the, what they plan on going forward to, to doing? And, and they actually listened to your suggestion about making it more disabled ac access to, yes, for the disabled? The, um, because really the beach is the responsibility of the Ministry of Works and Engineering, not the BTA. And um, Colonel Bart said that he will look at that plan for, you know, making the beach um, wheelchair accessible and accessible to people with um, physical challenges. So, yes, I'm happy for that. What do you think about the turnout tonight? Well, we were encouraging people to come out. Um, and people were asking, should they still come, you know, being because of the decision. And I told people, yes, come and enjoy the food that we, the people, are paying for. Is that said with a little bit of sarcasm? Very or? much, because when I see what has what is here, and to think that how much this must cost the taxpayer, because the BTA does not have any money, the P BTA... Um, survives on a grant from the government, meaning the taxpayers, that, and I'm hearing that this event costs $75,000, that that $75,000 could be, I have two grandchildren going off to college in September, and lots of other children are going off to college, and to think that we are spending this money for this event is ridiculous. It really is ridiculous. You feel like it should have been canceled after the announcement? Today? I don't think it should have been held. I thought that initially what we were expecting to happen was a town hall meeting where um, people could voice their opinion and give their, share their concerns. Not this. You know, what we see here, I mean, people know what, you know, we know what Astros Nominate does. Wherever you go, it's the same thing. We know, see, it's um, seafood, so this was unnecessary in my opinion. Although uh, Tarzan Boats is a new new idea yes. and I, I, I personally I was interested to see what they had there, the little rubber definitely, definitely unsuitable for Shelly Bay Beach. You think the little rubber inflatable things yeah. for the kids? Yeah. Why do you think that's unsuitable? Because it um, costs money and that Bermudians don't have that type of money for when they come on the beach to purchase beach toys for their children. You know, it's no space for that. I've spoken to the gentleman personally because he did come and see me and I told him it's nothing against him personally, it's about, you know, the beach and the people. So victory for uh, the group that was protesting uh, Shelley Bay, uh, but they're still out here partaking uh, of the and greeting people. I'm and have the food. <laughs> She's already had her dinner. All right. I haven't. Yeah. We're going we're gonna to go down, and there's a couple of vendors we haven't spoken with yet. Thank you, Laverne. Okay, Appreciate Thank your you. time tonight. Right. Thank you. And we'll go down and hopefully catch a couple of vendors. I don't know if we'll get a hold of uh, from Sid Seafood because uh, the line's pretty long like most of the other, other vendors are having tonight.
you, you, can, you can see Sid's busy. Uh, the line again for Sid's has, has gone down quite a bit. Yeah, but he's. Look at all this good stuff here, boy. Yes, sir. Sid, how do you think things have gone tonight for you guys? Uh, we've had an excellent turnout, an excellent turnout. Um, I'm uh, totally um, overwhelmed after all of the protests and everything. I thought that uh, we might be taking the food back home, but obviously you can see the lines. Um, so I just thank everybody for coming out supporting us. Um, you know, what did you think about the protest as to, as to what was pl actually planned for here? How did you feel about it? Well, I, I have some current concerns about the development too, but uh, I am just, uh, yeah, I'm, I have some concerns, but yes, we, we, we need to develop the, the beach a little, a, little bit, uh, a little bit better to accommodate uh, our locals and uh, tourists alike. Um, it's just too bad that uh can't see eye to eye right now, but I guess down the road in a bit, we'll all be able to come to some kind of uh, agreement. I, I know when I was speaking with the minister earlier tonight, uh, Mr. Simmons, he was talking about uh, Possibly having a regular uh, fish fry down here, uh, and, he, and, he pr and he praised uh, the taste of your of, uh, of your food. Um, how would you feel about uh, a, a regular fish fry here at Chili Bay? Uh, I used to do this uh, on a off a one or two week off down at the Kinley uh, the Kinley uh, Field at the Kinley Field grounds. Uh, and I was asked not to do it there anymore. And I, uh, I've been chomping at the bit to get it going again. And uh, I certainly hope they would uh, entertain that. Yeah, yeah, I entertain that. Well, thank you, Sid. Can, uh, uh, it's very hot back there, and you guys are uh, doing a great job. Great. Come by and uh, bring bring a couple of customers for me later, and uh, help me make some more money. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. Sid Seaford. We have one more uh, vendor to talk to. Hi, we're here with uh, David Gibbons. David uh, is a Hamilton Parish resident, resident originally. originally group, yes. Yeah, group, studio, group Shelley Bay. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, he was at uh, Studio Lane, I believe. That's right. That's that's right. A, don't, oh. tell, don't tell the exact address, okay? I don't hear you looking for me. <laughs> so, uh, uh, David, what do you think about the uh, event tonight, and what's your feelings about the protests and what was when what the tourism authority is trying to do here? You know, um, I've been seeing a wait, wait and see attitude regarding the whole plan from day one and I believe that the residents, um, Ms. Griffin's group, they've put together an alternate plan that looks pretty interesting. Um, whether that meshes with what the BTA is trying to do remains to be seen. Um, I've heard some things about that the BTA is taking it off the board. I don't know if that's going to happen but um, I'm looking forward to seeing what happens with the area in general. And it's good for, um, you know, get the, somebody adds to the beach, it'll be great, you know. Now, have you tried any of the food yet tonight, or is, is, is Sid's your first uh, choice? I'm about to sample some food. Just got here about five minutes ago. So looking forward to trying everything that, that's available and seeing how, uh, I guess, it will mesh if these vendors are going to be in part of the beach plan going forward here. You know, it'll be really interesting to see. Thank you, David. Thank you. Thank you. 
Uh, Victoria from uh, simple. 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 The concept is simple. It's yeah. local, so organic, it's easy, easy, healthy food. Some most of the time healthy, not all the time because we only live once, so we have to enjoy it. Um, what we have on tonight are homemade crepes. My husband stayed up till about 1 a.m. yesterday morning making crepes with Nutella and banana. We have gluten-free chocolate chip cookies, and we have. Um, peanut butter bites. These have six ingredients. It's um, almonds. Thank, thank you very much. So it's almonds, peanut butter, chocolate chips, cinnamon, chia seeds, um, and I know I'm forgetting something. But local, easy, organic food. <laughs> so where do you guys uh, normally operate? Or? We don't. This is our coming out party. This is our first event, um, and we'll be at the farmer's market in the fall. So wish us luck. So what kind of crowd were you expecting tonight with all the protests and things? And, we, actually, and, uh, you... we actually expected that the crowd would be quite a bit smaller. We had no idea that it would be this big. We've actually run out of a few items. Funny enough, our salad, our ch chicken quinoa salad, was the most popular item. We thought that no one would want to eat salad tonight. Everyone wanted it. So it's a good crowd. It looks like it's a good turnout. What, did the protests uh, sort of discourage you a, be, a bit, or how did you feel with, when when people were saying that they didn't want people here? Well, I live in Hamilton Parish. I live around the corner on Radnor Road, so I know some of the protesters personally. I know people who are for and against. I've been a resident here for 10 years, originally from St. George's. Um, you know, I hear the people's concerns, and I understand a bit of it. I understand that people don't want the beach to become overly busy and overly crowded, but I think there's a way that we can make it work for everyone. Now, as a Hamilton Parish resident, what did you see as something that Shelley Bay needed? Um, I think it needs it needs food service. We've had multiple restaurants here over the years. We haven't had food service in the area for a very long time. So I think food service and a couple different activities, sporting activities, would be perfect for the beach as long as it's not too crowded. Now uh, I'm here with Victoria, her husband. Which, which, what's his? Anthony. Anthony. Tony. And, and what's your last name? Edmonds. Edmonds. Okay. And, and my girlfriend's um, son, Nathaniel. Nathaniel. So the three of them are, are putting together the, these tasty treats for people that are a little bit on the sweet, but simple and he mostly healthy side. <laughs> Somewhat healthy. <laughs> Thank you very much. You're welcome. Have a good night. You as well.
Right, we're here with Justin Matthias. I, 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 did I butcher that again? Huh? It's Senator. It's okay. okay. <laughs> uh, the OBA chair. Um, is that right, too? Yeah, you're oh, right. I'm two you're for right. two. You're I'm two right. for two. I'm doing well tonight. Yeah. Okay. So, Justin, uh, just uh, checking out what's uh, happening here tonight. What did you think about the atmosphere and the turnout? I think it's a great turnout here today. Um, I think if you look around all at the crowd, um, I think a lot of people are here to see exactly what the BTA had planned. I think it's unfortunate what the government did today. I think you can see out here we have a lot of black entrepreneurs. And I think that uh, some of the early discussions that happened earlier about 3 o'clock and the discussions and the government's position now, um, I think has just ruined a great event that we're having today. So I hope that the government can see what's happening today and really consider the decision that they made today. Are you surprised at how many people still managed to, to turn out even though the decision from earlier? No, because I think um, a lot of the time there's a, like the silent majority in Bermuda, right? That just because they speak up, they think they can speak for everybody else. And I think you can see here today that you have a majority of, of Hamilton Parish residents that are out here to support these entrepreneurs. And I hope that they can use that spirit and they can go forward in that. Now, have you had a chance to, to taste anything yet? And if so, what did you have? Uh, the lines are really long, so I, I'm going to try to taste something, but... Um, I will wait till the lines die down to have my BTA entrepreneur experience. And your, and your chance for a shout out of all the things that are here today, which, which one interests you the most? Oh, I love Ashley's Lemonade, so I'll definitely be trying to get one of those at the end of the night. That's got the longest line, actually. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thank you, Justin. All right. Thanks so much, John. Have a good one. You too.
Hi, we're here with uh, Colonel Birch. Uh, a decision was made earlier today after uh, meeting with some of the people that had concerns. Uh, why did government come to the decision that they did? Um, because I think that um, there was a fair amount of misinformation out there and it's better for us to actually talk to people directly. Um, and so a meeting that was facilitated by MP Derek Burgess um, to meet with representatives of the group that had some concerns and we were able to address them and we've agreed to meet again and we will come back with some this is a temporary arrangement whatever it is that we decide we're going to do it Shelly Bay um, but there are some permanent plans that are being developed in the ministry to replace the building that was demolished um, we have no fixed um, view on where that should go we've had several recommendations and suggestions um, one that I find particularly attractive is locating the building somewhere and making it of such, um, designing it in such a way that it can cater to both beach users and those who use the field for sporting events. Um, that's the only prerequisite that's on the table at the moment. Um, and we'll come back to the people of Hamilton Parish and see where it is that we go from there. Now, I was speaking with uh, Minister Simmons yes. earlier today, and, it, and he put it all on you on this one, because I asked him about the disabled access. Where, yes. where is that supposed to go? Um, or what, I, what I gather that um, that is part of the recommendation that has come from the group. I was, it was unable to get through the government bureaucracy, email bureaucracy, to get to me, so I haven't actually seen it. Um, but I have had um, this evening some discussions with the acting director, Parks, who informs me that we do have some mats somewhere, we had some. Um, we will set out tomorrow to see if we can actually locate them. But I've had a couple of other recommendations about how we can provide um, access to the beach um, that we will explore. And that's an easy one to agree to without any discussion with anybody. Yeah. Now, I, I notice they have the picnic tables out tonight. It seems like it has a nice feel or a vibe to it where yes. people can do it. Are they going to stay or are we going to move them? Um, the, they, they came specifically for this event. Um, like many people, I suspect, this helps me greatly um, because a picture for me is worth a thousand words. So giving me a map and telling me where you're going to put stuff is all well and good, but to actually be on the ground and see where it is and what impact it is, I think it crystallizes for everybody what it is that's been proposed and allows them then to make an informed decision. And, come, and some may change their minds one way or the other, and others will have their position reinforced. But either way, it will be from a position of knowledge and, 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 and information, and you can't ask for anything better than that. What, do you, what can you take from tonight that's really positive going forward? Well, I think that <laughs> the lines for everything are outrageous. I <laughs> so there's got to be a positive. I know the food's free and the things are free, but I think that people will go away with having had a good experience at Chelly Bay. I mean, there's some other things that you'll see us doing almost immediately that are not controversial, um, that have come essentially from recommendations from the MPs, not the least of which is that I gather, and I haven't been yet to have a look this evening, and I will do so, that there are a number of Mexican Pappas that are encroaching on the beach space itself, that if removed would provide for greater beach access, um, and we will, that's a no-brainer. Um, we can get parks to actually come and remove them and, and, and still enhance um, the area for the beach here at Chelly Bay. All right. That's uh, Colonel Birch, and we thank you for your time this evening and appreciate it. All right.
All right, I'm here with uh, Shirley, who's uh, uh, partaking a little, little of the atmosphere tonight. Did you also have some food, and if so, what did you have, and how was it? Shrimps and uh, French fries, and it was nice. It was nice. Well, I've had seeds before. Um, so, what do you think about uh, tonight's atmosphere and how things have went? It's, it's a nice party atmosphere. <laughs> Free food. I, th I think free food has everybody. <laughs> no, it's, it's always a good thing. Um, there's a lot of controversy about the proposals here for Shelley Bay. Are you a Hamilton Parish resident, or are you just or just come down? St. George. But, but I kick, I kick up even about tobacco base. So, you know, and, and I know when you leave here or next week, it'll probably be John Smith Bay. Leave the bays alone. So, what what do you like about Shelly Bay the way it is? Just the way it is. It's beautiful. Come out here and take pictures and bring my grandchildren and, you know, we don't want a lot of uh, uh, commercial stuff around. You come out here on my lunch just to relax, you know? Down. So, you know, we, I enjoy it. Just the way it is. I come out here with my brother six o'clock in the morning. He come, we come up and we swim. Yeah. Now some people have said that it would be nice to have something here for food available or, or drink. Do you, do you think that's necessary? No, no. You're here for the day. You bring your food with you. I don't want to be buying all this uh, food. And now that everybody's on a health kick, this food is not good for. <laughs> no, I I think. But maybe a soda or something, or water or something like that. But other than that, not too much. You know, we don't have too many beaches. You know, we like to preserve what we have. Yeah. That's Shirley from St. George's. Uh, we thank her for her time tonight. Thank you for talking to us. Hi, I'm here with Sheen. She's she lives in St. David's, mm -hmm. St. George's Parish. Uh, you know, I, we know St. David's Islanders. They like they like to claim their own their yes, own parish. Which is there. <laughs> um, so, uh, when you heard about this event happening tonight, what was your thought and why did you come? Sure. So my first reaction was that it was a really good idea, so that the public can actually choose the vendors that we're going to have on our beach. Um, I am I am a CTP anyway, so. Um, I enjoy doing these these things, especially with my daughter. So yeah, I think it's a great idea, and I'm looking forward to having a little bit of Ashley's for free. <laughs> I've had some simple, unprocessed food, and we're really into health, and so I actually enjoy that one. So I'll probably vote for that one. Yeah. When you heard about people protesting, what did you think Shelly Bay needed or didn't need, or what were, you know what was your vision of how the, how this beach should be? Well, we don't need any um, anyone to basically stop it. I think that we need to let progression happen. Okay, I think that it's great to have some vendors. I mean, years ago when I was growing up, we had we had vendors. We had a whole booth over there that sold food and sold um, equipment for the beach. So I think that you know, for me, it's a really really good idea. I think it's awesome to have these vendors out tonight and to have the setup that they want to have. I wish I could actually see it. It would be great, but you know, I think it's a really really good idea.
Yeah, we, we've, had, we've had a lot of older people say what their opinion is. As somebody who's, who's younger, what would you like to see at Shelly Bay for, for the youth? Well, um, I think it's good how it is, in my opinion. Um, the stool was a good idea, but that didn't go well. I think the vendors are a good idea, and Paul over there playing the the steel pan is a good idea. It's it's nice. It gives like an islandy feel yeah. Yeah. to the event. So I think that's a very good idea. So, so the so the young the young people like the music. I actually enjoyed the music myself. <laughs> yeah. What's a, what's a party without music? <laughs> All right. That's uh, Richelieu. And what's your name? Latia. Latia. All right. Well, we've gotten to speak to representatives from the BTA. We spoke with both uh, Colonel Birch and Minister Simmons uh, about uh, their plans in the meeting today. We spoke with Laverne Ferbert. All five of the vendors had a chance to have their say, and we spoke to some members of the public about uh, how they feel this. You know, there's a wide variety of opinion, cross opinion as to how it is. I don't think you're ever going to get 100% of the people to, to agree because everyone has their own idea of how things are. But we appreciate you turning into uh, this Facebook Live for Burr News. I'm Don Burgess, and I hope you have a beautiful evening.